I'm always ready. <laughs> I meet the most interesting people sitting right here in front of Angelina's Pizza. That's right. I'm Kit Carson, the Earl of Pizza. I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods all day long. And the day is no exception. I've got a fine young man with me tonight that I want the world to know. If you don't know this guy, you're going to. Tell everybody your name and where you're from. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. Yeah. I'm Jim Scholl, and I'm from here right Jim now. Jim Scholl from here right now. Man, how long have you lived here right now? Well, I've lived here in the Keys, but Key West, I was here for three years when the Navy sent me here, so I was here from 03 to 06, and I lived up in oh, Cudjoe Key for 12 years, and I've been back. So I've been back like four years, yeah. Wow. And in that time, you were in the Navy. Correct. And what all did you do in the Navy? Well, my last tour was here. I was the commanding officer of Naval Air Station Key West for three years. Commanding officer of Naval Air Station. Yep. Is that a big responsibility? It's a very big responsibility. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun, too. Well, so, you know, I mean, Kit, you know this, but so, I grew up in naval aviation. I got to fly in Navy fighter jets, and, so you, and when I was here, I got to fly also. So the backstory is, before you became the head man in charge, you went through the ranks, and you were a, you were a ultimate flyboy. You went to what school in flight? You went to you went to the for fighter aviation, Top yeah. Gun. You way went back the, when you went to the Top Gun school. You are a Top Gun pilot. I'm a Top Gun graduate, a flight Which, officer in F-14 Tomcats, and I graduated three years before they made the first movie. Three years before they made the first movie. Yeah. Wow. You were the original Tomcat. I'm just old. <laughs> no, you're not that old. So let me let me ask you, what percentage of the guys actually make it through that school, through the Top Gun school? Top Gun, well, there's only about 1% that get selected to go, and very, very few don't make it through because you don't get to you don't select get selected to go right. if you're not already you have, the have the aptitude, aptitude and right. the skills. So how many to be able to go. how many people would that be roughly a year? Well, nowadays I don't know, but when I went through, they had 12. Uh, sorry, that's not true. Eight classes a year, and uh, in my squadron, uh, we got one one crew a year that got to go. One, one crew. One pilot, many? one backseater. Right. A, a year is all we got from where, where I was on the East Coast. So there's so not a lot. Year. No. It's a very, very small club. Yes. I mean, very small. And what was your call sign? Dagwood. Dagwood. There, there you, you go. go. Everybody yeah. knows Dagwood. That yeah. was your call sign back in the day. What year did you graduate Top Gun School? 1983. 1983. In February of 1983. Wow. Seems like yesterday. And I graduated from college in 1979, so it was just four years later. Wow. I got to go to Top Gun after I finished training in uh, That's Navy Jets and that, so yeah. So then your naval career sent you here. You did three years as the base commander. Yes. And then you retired. I did. I retired from the Navy and stayed here. And what did you do during that time? Life of leisure? Go fishing a lot? Well, no, I, I was retired three weeks and I got a, a federal <laughs> government job. Three weeks? Out at the Navy base, wow. running the instrumented range where we track airplanes. And I did that for one year. Yep. And then your buddy and mine, yeah. Mark Rossi, said, Someone. hey, the city manager at Key West is retiring. You ought to apply for the job. So I did. And then I regret? got selected. No, oh, no regrets. So in, uh, in uh, July of 2007, I became the city manager at Key West. 07, and you did that for how long? Five years and Five retired years. in 2012. And after that? Well, I had a two-year sabbatical, and, and then I got recalled. He got drafted again. Yeah, I, I, I teased people. I said, the mayor revoked my parole, so asked me yeah. to come back for six months, and back that turned into asylum. a second five years. Another five years. So 14 to 19. Wow. And then I retired. And then you retired. Yes. What is it like to be the city manager? Oh, it's a great job. Very, very demanding. Um, there's something going on down here all the time, as you well know. But between just trying to maintain all of the city property, all our infrastructure, maintaining the roads, the sewers, the parks, there's and a, then supporting all the special events we have all year long and everything. There's I mean, a people lot. People want to be in Key West. So. A lot of moving parts. There is. How many personnel work for the city? About 500. About 500? And 120 of those are law enforcement officers, and right. about 80 of them are firefighters. So that's 200. Yeah, so, so and then, 300 you know, but public we works. Public works, you know, I mean, all the administrative offices that we have, um, 
parks and recreation, uh, transit. You know, we run all the buses you know, and I would, the keys. My so last that's all part of the city of Key West. My last guess we were talking about. I've never ridden the bus ever in Key West. I have. And I'm like, I'm going to do it. And I've ridden the bus all the way to Marathon and back. I'm going to ride it up the, the up the keys one day. And I'm going to do the damn loop one day. I've never done any of it. I've never ridden that bus ever. And I feel that I should. Yeah, it's worth you know? doing. Just to, and you just, you're better able to give all our guests and visitors well, that's what advice. I always, you know? I, as an ambassador of tourism, I always say, go out and experience the Kong Tour train. Go to the shell, go to, to the aquarium. Go do everything you can so you can tell people what it is from, from experience. And, and then I've they never can tell the everybody, bus. they can tell everybody, Absolutely. go down to uh, the tree bar in Angelina's right. and get good advice on what to do and where to go Absolutely. and how to get there. They won't steer you wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Never would. So, city manager, that how was it a thankless job, or do you feel like that people actually had, uh, no, appreciate it, it? No, absolutely. No, it's it's a great job. You know, and of course, any job like that, you're not going to make everybody happy, but nope. you just got to explain why you're doing what you're doing, and just say this decision's been made, and this is what we're going to do. Right. And then like after most, that, you retired from that. Then what did you? Do? What have you done for yourself? Well, I was enjoying myself, and then uh, there was a vacancy in the Monroe County Commission, District right. 3 seat. I happen to live in District 3, and uh, so the governor appointed me to the unexpired term. And uh, so now I'm a county commissioner and up for re-election. Up for re-election. <laughs> you just can't seem to get out of it, can you? <laughs> no, but I tell people, you know, I obviously... I was part of a branch of the federal government for 28 years when right. I was in the Navy. The commanding officer of the base down here, you know, the airfield is in the county. Most of all the housing is here on the island of Key West within the city limits. So right. I got to meet both government entities and obviously sure. we did a lot of coordination with, with uh, various uh, issues with the base and with the city and the, and the county. And uh, so that's why I got hired to be city manager and then got much more familiar with municipal government. And the county commission, as an elected official, you know, your number one priority, obviously, is approving the budget every year and then working on any ordinance adjustments that need to be made or creating new ordinances if we need new laws what to is, govern the county. How much is county. that budget? Pardon? How much is the budget? Well, the total budget is uh, exorbitant. I think it's somewhere around a half a billion dollars is the total budget, but that's all the constitutional officers that, that's you know, for the entire county, but the airport, which is all thrown in there, a lot of things that are county government responsibilities that permeate all of the keys, right. and you know, there's five municipal governments yeah, in the Florida Keys, but most five, of it is unincorporated yeah. Monroe County. So It's amazing a lot, a lot. what it takes to, to and, run. And the infrastructure costs, as you can imagine, countywide, hundreds of miles of road, Lots of bridges, you know. Uh, it's it's a, uh, a an infrastructure challenge. It, it it is a challenge, but you're up to the challenge, and you you um. I think you're probably one of the more popular. I don't want to call you a politician, public servant, elected official, elected official. Yeah, I don't. you're one of the more popular. I mean, I rarely ever hear, you know, even you know, in the city manager days. And I think part of it was your temperament that you, as you stated earlier, you made a decision and people weren't happy. You explained why you made the decision and most people were happy to not just get a door shut in their face and go, go away. And you, know, and, you know, things have to get done in a fairly efficient manner if you can. Sure. And, and you use the best information you have. Absolutely. And, and we have, you know, the staffs for the city and the county are unbelievably talented and competent and very professional. So we go through, get briefings by our staffs, and then we go and we get public input, and then we have to make decisions based on what the best option is at the time. Absolutely. Well, that, you know, I know you're coming up for re-election, and I wasn't going to talk about that a whole lot. Oh, no, you don't have to. Uh, I wanted to save that and make you come back another day and do... That works for me. And, and do do one where we talk about topics. Okay. That work for you? So today can, today can I get you... I know this is going to be a stretch because I know you don't like telling stories about your past, but give, give me one Top Gun story. One Top Gun story? Do you have one? 
Uh, there are, I'm there putting are, him on the spot. Well, but. no, there are several. I mean, every time I deployed, I did six aircraft carrier deployments in my career. And uh, the shortest one was six months. So we spent a lot of time at wow. sea. And being forward deployed to influence things that might escalate into bad things sure. that would affect our economy and our well-being and potentially allow terrorists to do more bad things than they've already done. So we were out there forward deployed, defending the nation, and... and so you uh, spent 10 years at sea? I No, five years total at sea. Five years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Six deployments, but like I said, okay. six months is, the, is supposed to be the limit, but I've been on seven and a half months, six and a half right. month deployments. That, that, I got gotcha. you. But I've been all around the world, and, uh, and every time I went to sea, there was some problem on the planet escalating, and we would go try to, just by our presence, de-escalate right. things. And when that didn't work, then Ever crash a plane? Combat. Nope. Never, never have to bail one, out of one? Never jumped out of one? Nope. Nope. 3,000 hours in the F-14. Never, never slid off? One, never gave one back to the taxpayers. Nope. Never slid off the runway? Nope. Wow. That's nope. impressive. But you're here to talk about it, so that tells a lot. Well, <laughs> I'd do it all over again if I was young. Would you? Yeah, I loved really? every bit of it. Of wow. You know, yeah. there's some, I, I mean, there's such a small percentage of the world that gets to fly those planes. It has to be just a freaking thrill. It's fun. It has to be better than any roller coaster you could ever imagine. It's fun, except on really dark nights when there's no moon and it's overcast, you have to come back and land on the ship. That's not always fun, but it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I bet there's a few minutes in there where you're puckered up pretty tight. You know, I can only imagine. You know, I, I, I could, have, I'd have a hard time landing at night on the ground, much less on a ship that's rocking and rolling. Well, especially with the technology of the generation of airplane that the F-14 right. was. The newer airplanes have a lot more sophisticated instrumentation and autopilots and things. But yeah. We did not. Yeah, you did not. You had to know how so, to fly. Well, but, everybody has to know how to fly. Yeah, but, but there's still a difference. But, you had to know. Hey, you had to know what those instruments were telling you. All I know you. is, like I said, all my takeoffs and landings are equal. Good. Although, had a few unplanned touch and goes in there, but you know. Well, you but, know that. Uh, I can't but, imagine uh, that that wouldn't happen somewhere along the way. But on those dark nights when that tail hook grabs the cable, it's a very comforting thought to know you're done yes. for the night. That tail hook grabs your. Oh, what a relief! I'm sure. Man. <laughs> so what was the scariest situation you've ever been in flying? Oh, you know, well, usually some sort of major malfunction with the aircraft. Yeah. You know, when you had to go through the process and decide if you were going to be able to make it back and land, whether it was on land or on the ship, right. or whether you had to uh, jump out of the airplane. But, but you never jumped out and you nope. never lost one, nope. so you managed to do all that was required to get it back. Every time. Every time. That's impressive. And now I fly a little Cessna 172, and I hope the, the street doesn't get interrupted. Uh, how do you like the Cessna? It's fun. Uh, is it? It's great to just jump in the airplane at 9 in the morning, go up somewhere on the mainland, eat lunch, right. and come back. Wow. Take me flying one day. We will. I, man, I want to go. Boy, I see I see your handlers are over here watching you. Yeah. You know, so so I, I know it's about that time. But before you run away, and, and I really want to have you come back again, and we'll talk politics one day because I know we're coming into the season and I'd like to do a whole segment on that. No, I'd appreciate and we'll, it. We'll talk about it. Well, you got my number. I do have your number. Yeah. But before you leave, I gotta ask you one question. If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? Angelina's. <laughs> I thought well, it was gonna be a trick question. <laughs> well, well, you know, sometimes it is a trick question. You know, it can be. But anyway, I just want to thank you for your Thanks, time. Kit. No, thank you so always much. Always appreciate your, it. Your crew is ready for you to go have a beverage or go uh, to dinner, one or the other. All, thanks for all you do around here. No worries. So on behalf of myself, the staff, and, and the wonderful Dagwood, thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. Good night.